What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Turf Therapy. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. We're still in the dead middle of winter. I get it. I know what the date on the calendar says. But look, check it out. My daffodils are starting to break ground, which means spring is right around the corner. So I, I did some last minute cleaning up this morning. I had to take care of the Lily Turf Liriope that I had up front. Uh, you could take that down, you know, early fall if you want to, or you can let it sit out here if you want to be lazy like me and just get after it at the end of winter, midwinter, right before it warms back up again. So we chopped those down, and as you can see, I used my handy dandy hori hori knife. Gosh, I love that thing. Uh, shout out to Mark from Long Crease Limited for putting me on to it. If you want to check it out, I'll leave it in the description below. I use that thing for harvesting, cutting, digging, transplanting. It's a super handy tool to have around, I promise you. So, what we're going to do today, I've been telling you guys in my live that I had collards out here and plenty of brassicas out here, cabbage and whatnot that I need to get out the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and make space for this stuff, like this bed right here. This is that um, broccoli romanesco. And if I peel back enough layers of uh, this foliage right here, you'll see that we got a little tiny head. She was going to come in, but she hasn't came in. And to be honest, I think I put one too many in this container, lessons learned. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna clean off the foliage from all of my brassicas. I'm gonna leave a couple out here and kind of use them as a early starts for the spring that's right around the corner. And then another thing we're gonna do is I gotta get these carrots out the ground. Now I don't have to get them out the ground. They'll survive the weather that's coming up, but I really don't wanna have to deal with frozen soil again. And right now my soil is not frozen because I'm in containers, you know, it will freeze easier, but we've had some warm temperatures for the past couple weeks. So the soil is nice and moist. So my wife, she wants to make like a cauliflower carrot soup. And I told her, well, I got carrots outside. I go ahead and pull some up. I'll let you use whatever you want to use. And then for the collards and the brassica greens, the other brassica greens, like the cauliflowers and the cabbage that didn't come to head, the purple ones specifically, and the Brussels sprouts, we'll go ahead and harvest all that foliage because it is still very edible. And like I told you guys, the Brussels sprouts, <laughs> Brussels sprouts foliage, I think are a little better than collards, just my opinion. Don't shoot the messenger. And then um, we'll be good. It'll put us in a nice, comfortable place before I have to start bringing my starts out here in about three months. So I wanna just give this soil a nice little rest. So let's go ahead and bring this stuff in the house. I'll blanch it, I'll freeze it, I'll put it to the side, I'll use it sparingly until I get back into spring and things are in full, you know, jettison mode again. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let's get this stuff harvested. We'll chat along the way. And of course, if you have any questions, don't forget them to drop them in the comments below. All right, let's go. so cool that was pretty easy guys um i got me a bucket <laughs> a bucket and a bag 
full of green. So I'm excited about this. This is probably going to be a good eight meals for the wife and I. Maybe I'll gift some away to my neighbor across the street. I know Marcus, he enjoys greens and he he's a fan of these Brussels greens and these cabbage greens right along with these collard greens, just like I am. So it'll most likely be mixed greens just because of how I harvest them. Um, I guess the one thing I tell you is when you think you don't have a lot out there, you probably want to go out there and just see if you can get a little small harvest, cook that up and see what that looks like because that'll give you a better idea of how much you actually need to harvest and you won't end up like me with all these greens towards the end of your season and trying to figure out how to keep them and salvage them to make sure that they don't go to waste. So equally talking about waste, I got a bucket full of uh, worm food as well. So what I'll do is I'll take this, I'll probably break that stuff down a little bit more by hand, uh, put it in the bag and throw it in the freezer. I like to put it in the freezer first for a week or two because what happens is everything breaks down just a little bit more and when I thaw it out, it'll be nice, soft and mushy. I let it come to room temp and I'll feed it to the worms and they'll go ahead and do their thing, all right? All right, so let's move on to these red, purple dragon carrots. Uh, I've been harvesting them um, along the way, but you guys haven't seen me do it on camera. so. Let's go ahead and pull up this harvest. Again, I'm getting after this. You could absolutely leave these all winter. You do not have to do what I'm doing. But because carrots tend to store for quite a long time, I'm not worried about having to hurry up and figure out what I have to do with them. And then on top of that, I'm about to go out of town. And while I'm out of town, the temperature is going to be like 20s and below for about two weeks. And I just don't want to have to deal with frozen soil. I don't want to have to deal with it. So we're going to pull them up now. All right. So they're pulling up nice and easy and that's because the soil is what? It's not, it's not frozen. So it's a nice little size, right? Ooh, the top broke off of that one, but we still got, we still got a carrot. Yeah. That's another pretty one. Look at her, look at this. Man, let me bring you guys in closer so you can see what I'm seeing. Mm-hmm. Look at that, I got a little baby one back there. Little baby carrot. You, I am I, I'm a huge fan of these carrots. Like all of them are a nice, beautiful size. That's a that's a gorgeous color too. Look at that. Now these carrot tops, <laughs> they'll be going to the worms because you can see that they have been through it. But man, these carrots and they taste. They taste delicious, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I tasted them before the frost, the heavy frost and freeze got them, got to them. So I can only imagine what these jokers are gonna be like now. Bow. So nice. I love the size of these. I love these are good for chopping, cutting, slicing. They're nice and fat and, uh, you know, got got some good length on them. You know, not ridiculously long, but still enough to make you feel like you did something. So huge fan of these carrots, guys. If you are wondering where I got these seeds from, I got them from the lovely Baker Creek, of course. And this soil is like so rich yeah i'm definitely probably going to do more carrots in this soil just because these did so well okay guys so that was a pretty decent harvest we just got off of those purple uh those purple dragon carrots so i'm impressed with those i'm a huge fan of them uh really easy to sow really easy to get them to sprout now i didn't go as heavy with my seeding with the purples as I did my black nebulas, and you're gonna see, uh, I paid for that dearly. Not a lot of these, unless I'm, unless there was more development that happened, or you know, unless I just got a few bad ones in the beginning, um, you'll see that they formed up well up top, but going down, they really just didn't fatten up. But they're still delicious, I still ate them, and they might be prime for the wife's soup that she's doing, or even, again, smoothies. I mean, imagine walking around with like this super black smoothie and people are like, what is that? You know, just to wear them out. So 
let's get in here and see what the black nebulas did we'll pull these up and then uh we'll get you guys out of here wrap this thing up all right stay tuned Yeah, see, like I said, same old story. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps this up. I got my carrots, they're all cleaned up. I'm letting them dry off real quick, but I'm really impressed with these carrots. These red dragons, they, these are gonna be some keepers. These are keepers as well. Just keep in mind, I, I, I sell them too thick. That, that's all that happened here. They're still delicious, still edible. You can use them, smoothies, drinks, juice them, put them in uh, salads, put them in soups. Um, just get creative. Just because they don't look as desirable as you'd like them doesn't mean that they're not going to be delicious and nutritious, okay? All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps this up. Thanks for checking in for your weekly dose of therapy with Rob.